All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the Hardy-Weinberg equation, and we're going to put that into the context of stabilizing selection in a ladybug population. So to set up our storyline, we have this beautiful purple flower, and we're going to have a population of phenotypically diverse ladybugs move on to this flower and make it their home. So we're going to have the homozygous dominant ladybug, which is red, and we have four of them, as you can see right here. We'll have the homozygous recessive blue ladybug, which we have 12 of, as you can see right here. And then we have the heterozygote, which is a purple ladybug, and we have nine of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you look at the Hardy-Weinberg equation is find out if it's consistent with the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. And as you can see here, and I did further calculations down here, you can see that the population is consistent with the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium because the value we calculated here is less than the critical value that we found. So the next thing that you'd want to do with this is look at selection. And so I decided to focus on stabilizing selection, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute, but basically the important thing with stabilizing selection is these green numbers specifically correlate to that kind of selection. So the first thing you would want to do is find your allele frequencies before selection as well as your genotypic frequencies, and you're going to use those numbers right here, and then you're going to go, want to go in and find the unadjusted survivor number because you'll use that to calculate average fitness, which is the next thing you'll do. And when you plug in these numbers, as you can see, they're color coded and labeled, you'll get 0 0.724. And then you'll find the genotypic frequency after selection by taking the unadjusted survivor number and dividing it by the average fitness. And a good uh, trick is to make sure that these frequencies after selection for genotype add up to one. And as you see here, I double check that and they do. So we know that we're on the right path. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you find your allele frequency after selection. And these should also add up to one. And as you see right here, they do. So you might be wondering why did we choose stabilizing selection? I chose stabilizing selection because, as you can see here, it favors the heterozygote. And in this situation, it makes sense to favor the heterozygote because it's purple and it would have a survival benefit to blending in with its environment, which would make it more likely to survive into adulthood and pass on its genes through reproduction. So this has been an overview of the Hardy-Weinberg equation and stabilizing selection.